Oh, hey y'all! Happy day. How you doing? <laughs> uh, I'm I'm looking at the kiwi farms. I had a moment to waste. <laughs> Let's see what was going on with the uh, voyeuristic sociopaths <laughs> in denial of their own moral bankruptcy. <laughs> I'm thinking they're not breaking any laws by invading people's lives like they do. <laughs> Especially that jabroni character who was peeking in my case uh, the other night. I'm not sure which night it was, but he didn't see much money in it, which you, you won't too often because I pull it out. <laughs> I don't even let the big bills stay at all. <laughs> uh, you know, there's, there's usually no more than 10 bucks in there. But that don't mean that there ain't $50 in my pocket. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Uh, and as far as uh, all the great names in music, go, I'm not a musician. I'm a biochemist that got blacklisted. Um, so I'm not really worried about making a name for myself as a musician. I'm more concerned with uh, connecting with other righteously minded people who are rejecting the nonsense of Judeo Christian imperialism that uh, you people are like supporting whether you realize it or not, uh, by um, trying to publicly emasculate people who are <clears throat> flying a freak flag. Um, <laughs> one of us talking about some strange, this is, this is a weird one, I'd love to know, I'd love to know who's getting these strange messages. Because uh, if there are strange messages being sent, they're probably not being sent by me, but they're being sent by an imposter. Um, where is it? Uh, yeah, here's a jabroni count. When, when did he post this? Um, where's, where's the date and time on it? Yesterday at 5.52 a.m. So he was out there, he was out there around bar time when I was there, and yeah, uh, I had to take the money out of the case a couple of times because the crowd was too thick and I was afraid somebody was going to snatch it. Um, I made about $25 an hour on uh, Saturday night down there. Thursday, too. Um, yeah, I'm not a top name in music. I'm, I'm a top name in, in the resistance. <laughs> that was they, motherfuckers. Um, so, yeah. Um, you are getting information from my enemies <laughs> and who are like lying about me um, and uh, <laughs> nobody nobody I care about um, sees what happened in 1982 uh, between me and that young woman um, as being anything like really terribly um, horrible and certainly it's nothing to be like trying to uh, vilify me and get me prosecuted for 35 years later. That's just mentally unwell. I'm sorry you people are just mentally unwell. And you're deluding yourselves thinking that you're not breaking any laws. I mean, yeah, it's difficult to prosecute because of the First Amendment being in the way of most of it. But there's boundaries that you're crossing. Um, <laughs> And, and, and asshole, um, I, I, I wouldn't be alive if I hadn't poked all this weed. Because when people like you were in my face when I was younger, you'd get hurt quick. And that's not mentally well. We, we'd help me uh, like cool out the uh, bad adrenaline metabolism that I've gotten, not, not step into pools like you. Um, Yeah, and what makes you think I'm a crazy homeless guy? <laughs> I, I have a long-term lease on, on a downtown studio. <laughs> and, and I got 50 years of carrying that musical instrument around, and I bet that I could blow any, I'd blow you right off the stage, fool. Uh, you haven't heard me play. You've heard me noodle. I, I, haven't, I haven't been in shape to play in over 30 years. But I haven't forgotten that much. I've forgotten more music than people like you'll ever know. So I'm not a musician. 
and scientists. I'm also born into the, here. Here, just try this one on for size kids. I'm a hereditary priest of the Malky Sedican order, and that's all I have to say about it. Go ahead and fuck with that. Um, where, where is this one? This one, this one's like really funny. Um, and I really think, yeah, uh, you don't understand this, stranger. Nobody's going to limit the First Amendment more than it's already limited. And you guys have crossed the line. You cannot call me a pedophile. You cannot call me a meth addict. Plain and simple. You're over the line. Where the fuck is this? Oh, here we go. Some people have been receiving some weird messages from him. I, I have a feeling there's one person. If there's more than one person, the only person I sent a, a, a message to uh, about anything that would be considered weird is Melissa Segbart um, that you would be in contact with. If anybody's getting weird messages, that's an imposter. I'm not sending out messages. I ain't got time to fuck with people like you. He also has been pointing people to this thread and telling them disgusting stories about a teenage girl. What the fuck kind of anal shit do you man or you people? <laughs> Most teenage pregnancies are caused by teenage girls selling themselves in some way to young adult men. Okay? Most teenage pregnancies are on the girl. Whether it was statutory rape or not, in the eyes of the law, what really went down was that a an underage girl seduced an older man. Now this wasn't the case with this young lady. She'd been living among adults for at least a year when I met her, and she had been living with a man up until she came to live with me and my old lady, and I walked in on two lesbians going at it in my bed. I didn't think for a minute that, oh, well, this is this girl's only 15 and three quarters, so I can't do it because she's a minor. This was not on my mind until 30-some years later, some sociopaths point this out, that, oh, well, she was, she, was on, she was underage, so that was statutory rape. She can't consent to anything, yada, 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 yada. When she had been making her own decisions since she was nine fucking years old. So, namaste, motherfuckers. If you think you could harm me with that story, continue to sell it. And, and if anybody's getting weird messages other than Melissa Sagbart, it's from an imposter. I jammed her the other day because I saw something that uh, here that uh, she and her friend had no business putting in public the way they did. Uh, the previous co-plaintiffs are all there. <laughs> She's still there. Uh, Casey Hinesism is ready to jump on board, and I'm not saying who the other one is. And there might be more. You never know. No telling who's going to come out of woodwork when I when I when I present the whole fucking list to the court in the complaint. So on that note, Kiwi fuckheads, namaste assholes. You're not worth my time.